Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jane Lawrence, and in this video today, I will be teaching you men out here how to titty strap your woman like a star. So expect three wild and crazy techniques. You're not ready for what's about to hit you, honestly, because by now you all should have gotten a memo, right? Now, learning how to be more sexually adventurous is what this channel is all about. <laughs> so keep that in mind as I'm going to show you ladies everything there is to know on giving your man a great titty strapping. You're going to learn how to set up your twin towers for a great and smooth strapping. <laughs> You're also going to know how to titty strap with your man in control and ultimately how to titty strap your man in with you in control. Are you ready? And if you're not subscribed yet, please do that right away and turn up the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a video. I'm always very consistent here. Be right back as you do that. Now, welcome back. Do women still allow their men strap their titties, their twin towers? Because if not, y'all are really missing, especially the men, because it's surprisingly really easy. That despite the fact that I can beat my chest to the knowledge that only a few couples do this. It's almost as easy as you giving your man a head job, honestly. But before we go through the class today, it is very important that I let you know that titty strapping your man has many different names out there. Some people call it, you know, camel wank, breast wanking, titty wanking, and there are probably hundreds of names out there. But today I will call it maybe camel wanking or booby trapping. Any name that I give to it, just understand that we're talking about titty strapping, all right? Now, the basic action that you will be performing is putting the joystick in between your cleavage. Now, once it is between your cleavage, you then need to push your boobies together to trap his joystick between your booby traps to provide friction for it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, your man can start to thrust your boobies or you can move your boobies up and down over his weapon of mass destruction. I mean, physically just doing all of this is easy. The problem is building up the courage to do it and not being nervous about trying it. Because I think that your man may be eager to try it because he has seen it in an adult movie or maybe his friends have talked about it. Now, while I could admit to the fact that it's not the most intimate position to try with your man, it is still fun and hot and dirty. If that's what your man enjoy, if that's what you also enjoy. Now, let's talk about the setup real quick. Because, I mean, just ripping his or your clothes off and then giving your man a camel wank is not the most natural or easiest thing to do. A better way to start is by just having regular foreplay with your man. Just like I would always advise when you're having intercourse. Don't sleep on that foreplay, guys. It's very important. Then during this regular foreplay, just start to give him a hand job. And remember to keep eye contact with him while you do that. Now, as you continue to give him a hand with his pistol just try to slowly put yourself in a position where your watermelons are besides his eggplants <laughs> see today i am just going to use so many alternative names for this body parts i don't know why but just bear with me okay now when you bring your chest to his eggplant um um but then again you need to first rub your chest with body natural body oil or lube so that it acts as a lubricant for easy gliding through it might not really be pleasant if there is no lubrication right there because you want easy flow just rub his eggplants all over your watermelon next thing that you do is just simply put his eggplants in between your watermelon and wrap them over it no man in his right mind will ever resist this, trust me. Now, the first time you try it, you will definitely find it a little awkward physically. But don't worry about it, all right? It will get easier when you figure out what position suits you best. In fact, kneeling in front of him while he stands is easy because all you need to do is just hold your watermelon wrapped around his eggplant and he just does the movement. You would also find out that you know, his weapon of mass destruction just sleeps out easily. Again, this is totally normal and it will definitely stop happening when you get more experience in booby strafing. I would like to talk to women with small oranges. So if your oranges are quite small, you might definitely find giving your man this um, 
experience a little difficult because this exercise needs average or extra large watermelons in this exercise needs mango it needs papaya it needs uh, uh, watermelons you know to be able to achieve this it just needs all of this average or more than average watermelons to be able to achieve this so if you have like beautiful limes or oranges or tangerine <laughs> then unfortunately booby strapping is going to be difficult for you and it's not just for you i'm sorry you, you can't you can't basically have it all and then don't forget to also use lubricants when giving your man a booby wank as this makes for a visual treat for your man as your watermelon will be shining and glistening do you get what i mean now let's dive into how to be stress with your man in control so if you prefer your man to be in control when you're giving him a booby wank then you know there are a number of things that you could do the easiest is just you letting him hold your watermelons and squeezing them together onto his um eggplant while you kneel down in submission to him and don't forget don't forget to make eye contact with him while he's thrusting your chest all right eye contact is really important also when your man is in control it is also best um if he's on top so how you do this is that you need to lay down on your back and he can straddle you while facing you now this position leaves you almost entirely incapacitated and your man in total control you could actually hold your watermelons for him while he glides his eggplants in between them and rides or if you like he can turn the opposite um way so that you are facing his back and his butt is right in your face this position would allow you gulp or maybe play with the sack of his eggs as he moves that will add like mad sensation to his experience all you just need to do is poke your tongue out like a mini joystick and just stroke his perineum with it stroke his perineum and his balls while he glides through your chest do you get what i mean now another great position that is not quite as submissive for you um but still puts your man in a dominant position is to have your man sit down on a sofa with his legs spread wide and for you to be on your knees facing him in between his knees you then now need to start giving him a camel wank from this position you're just in between him so you do that by holding your watermelons and just moving your upper body up and down okay now here is another exciting thing that you can do to your man when he's thrusting in between those watermelons you can open your mouth and let him thrust it as he glides through your watermelon in other words what i'm trying to say is that his cap ends in your mouth and you give it all you give it a little suction as he glides through your chest in and out of your mouth so your mouth is the end goal do you get what i'm saying now what you're doing to him is that you're giving him two ends of sensation one from his shaft gliding through your greasy warm chest in between your chest and two your warm wet mouth is receiving his sensitive cap with a little bit of suction mad feeling honestly mad and i wish i were a man so that i could experience how it feels like because in my heart I can just imagine multiple triggering effect this will cause on him. Number three um, is, you know, TD strafing your man with you in control. Now, if you want to have more control, then don't let your man hold your watermelons. The best way to be in control of your man is to have him lie down on his back with his legs together and flat then when he's lying down straddle his legs by his knees while facing him then bend over and put his pistol in between your watermelons and start giving him that td strap the coolest thing about giving your man a booby wank is that when he comes it's easier for him to give you that pearl necklace by ejaculating all over your watermelons and a lot of guys and girls both find ejaculating on your on watermelons um and body 
to be incredibly hot. And that's how you give, you know, your man that booby, 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 booby sex that he has been envisaging or that he has been thinking and daydreaming, fantasizing about, all right? So do not, do not deprive him of having that sort of fantasy because every man has ever thought of doing that. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm definitely sure. All right, then. Until I come your way, um, same time tomorrow, do have a great, great day and enjoy your relationship, your marriage, and be fun. Don't forget to be fun, okay? Catch you when I catch you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs>